All right, hey, American literature students. So I'm gonna pick up with our poems. Um, we're gonna do Ann Sexton's The Truth the Dead Know. Pretty, pretty serious poem here. And uh, as, as you know, when you read the biography of Ann Sexton that she did in fact um, kill herself. And with the quotation in the little biography here, uh, poetry should be a shock to the senses. It should also hurt. Well, I think she does a pretty good job achieving her, her goal uh, with that. So the truth, the dead know. For my mother, born March 1902, died March 1959. And for my father, born February 1900, died June 1959. Now with that, you might think it's an homage to these two folks. Um, Gone, I say, and walk from the church, refusing the stiff procession to the grave, letting the dead ride alone in the hearse. It is June. I am tired of being brave. We drive to the Cape. I cultivate myself where the sun gutters from the sky, where the sea swings in like an iron gate, and we touch in another country people die. My darling, the wind falls in like stones from the white-hearted water, and when we touch, we enter touch entirely. No one's alone. Men kill for this, or for as much. And what of the dead? They lie without shoes in their stone boats. They are more like stone than the sea would be if it stopped. They refuse to be blessed, throat, eye, and knuckle bone. So. Uh, very little sort of glorification there of death and loss. It was not a romantic view of losing people, not that that's always possible, but uh, she is uh, uh, unconsolable. She's refusing any consolation in this poem. She refuses to go to the grave. Um, she's tired of the ritual that she's had to go through twice in four months. She's indifferent to nature, right? Nature often brings life back to us. Remember the William Carlos Williams poem, The Widow's Lament in Springtime? It's when spring comes around and nature sort of opens up again this time of year. Uh, that's when the widow wants to walk out and get sucked into the mud. And Anne Sexton here also takes no, no pleasure from nature. The sun gutters from the sky, gutters? That's not a very, you know, the sun beams from the sky, the sun spills from the sky. That's the way uh, a, po a happy poem would go. But the sun gutters, you know, junk is in gutters in a city. Um, the sea swings in like an iron gate. Um, this, this, is, this is a rejection, uh, an indifference uh, almost, a really a rejection of any comfort from nature. In another country, people die. You know, why not in another country people are born? No, die, death, it's all. Her only way of viewing the world is through death. Death has infected the landscape for her. My darling, the wind falls like stones. I don't know who my darling is. Maybe death, maybe her husband, I don't know. And what of the dead? You know, the dead in the, at the last stanza here refuse to participate in her mourning. They lie without shoes. Um, by the way, I did ask an undertaker's wife if people are buried with shoes, and, uh, and she said it depends. They lie without shoes in their stone boats. That's the, uh, what do you call that thing? The vault that is in the ground that people get, uh, their coffin gets lowered in. They are more like stone than the sea would be if it stopped. They refuse to be blessed, throat, eye, and knuckle bone. Um, the dead refuse to participate um, in, in uh, helping her recover. Uh, the dead, uh, she can't relate to them. Um, and, and, and you can, though, you can. I mean, the, the Mary Oliver poems were much more, much, a much better guide for mourning. Um, even even the dad who comes back and bangs on the door, um, she comes to terms uh, with him. Uh, she talks about pressing ahead, the, tapping into the, the life force inside of us in the face of death. Anne Sexton is not interested 
and any of that. And it's no surprise that um, she took her own life um, quite a while later, but still, um, she did end up taking her own life, which is very, very sad. She is a mourner who does not escape the grief. Um, she is haunted, haunted by it.